Hey everyone, 2, 3 is linear functions. So it's going to be a little bit of a review because this is an Algebra 2 topic, um, but I can always link you to some videos if Algebra 2 was a while back. Um, hopefully we'll do a few things that are a little new. Um, but so this first paragraph box is just some reminders, right? Linear functions look like ax plus b, or sometimes you use mx plus b, right? That means the same thing. x has no powers. Um, the constant function is just when we have b. If we don't remember that, that's where we just have a horizontal line. And then the formula for slope hopefully is familiar. If not, here we go. We're just finding the change in the y's over the change in the x's. So the rise is the change in the y, and the run is the change in the x. Um, so the two kind of forms we've maybe seen before, maybe we've only seen one of them. Point slope is when you plug in a point. So you plug in a point and the slope. Um, and then slope intercept is where you specifically have the intercept and slope. So the intercept is the y-intercept. It has to be zero comma b. So if I have two comma three, that's not the y-intercept. But zero comma five is the y-intercept. So one more definition, and we're just going to jump into examples. So I think examples will help us refresh on this. So parallel lines have the same slope. So the slopes are the same. And then perpendicular lines, oops, wrong thing. Perpendicular lines, um, when you multiply the slopes, you get negative 1. Um, I like to note as they're just basically opposite reciprocals. So it's a reciprocal and negative and opposite. And remember, perpendicular lines look like this. They make nice right angles. So I'm just going to jump into examples for this section. I think doing examples will give us a nice refresher. So we want to find the equation of a line that passes through two points. So negative 3, 1 and 2, 4. So if we have two points, um, step one is to find the slope. Um, so y, oops, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 will be 4 and y1 will be 1. Basically the difference in the y's divided by x2. Notice if if y1, if y2 is 4, then x2 is 2. These are coming from the same point, the ones above each other. And then y1 will be negative 3, so minus negative 3. So we'll get 3 on top, we'll get 5 on bottom, right? That's 2 plus 3. So m is 3 fifths. And then I'm going to use point slope because I don't have the y-intercept. Right? We don't have a point that's 0, comma b. So instead, we'll use point slope. And what's cool is you can pick either point. It'll work. So I could pick negative 3, 1 or 2, 4. I kind of like 2, 4 better because if we don't have to deal with negatives y deal with them. So y minus y1 would be y minus 4. If you want to do y minus 1, that works. And then m is 3 fifths. And then for the 4, 4 goes with 2, so x minus 2. If you happen to do 1, you'll do 3 fifths x minus negative 3. Both will work and give you the exact same answer. You don't need to do both. But if you want to be convinced, simplify them both. Um, but I'm just going to simplify this one, so distribute 3 fifths, y minus 4 equals 3 fifths x, and then 3 fifths times 2 would be 6 fifths, negative 6 fifths. And then we're going to add 4. Plus 4, might as well combine them, so 4 will just times by 5 over 5 to get LCD. So 
So minus 6 fifths plus 20 fifths. Um, so 20 minus 6 would be 14. So y equals 3 fifths x uh, plus 14 fifths. Um, and we like improper fractions, so leave as improper. Um, mixed numbers basically don't exist anymore. So just leave everything improper, right? 14 fifths is improper. And that's the equation of our line. If you try the other point, you will get the exact same equation. So I have a couple more. Um, this is a shorter section. Um, we want to find the equation of a line perpendicular to 4x plus 3y equals 3. And we know the point. So because we know it's perpendicular, we can use that to find the slope. So let's solve for y so we can find slope. And that, right, that'll give us y equals mx plus b, which will tell us the slope. So I'm going to subtract 4x. So 3y, and I'm going to do the negative 4x plus 3, so it kind of looks like mx plus b. And then we'll divide by 3. So y equals negative 4 thirds x plus 1. So m would be negative 4 thirds. And then we want perpendicular lines. So parallel line has the same slope. Perpendicular, what we're going to do is we're going to flip this. Perpendicular slope. So we're going to take, we're going to do negative 1 over the current slope. Essentially, it just means flip it. So if I have 1 over 4 thirds, that's actually equal to 3 fourths. The 3 comes to the top. The long way would be um, times in by 3 and 3. So it cancels out. So we have 3 fourths, and it would be positive because the negatives cancel out. So you'll notice it's just the reciprocal with the opposite sign. So let's go ahead and find the equation. Since I know a point, I'm going to use point slope. I don't know the y-intercept. So we're going to say y minus negative 2 equals 3 fourths x minus 3. And we can just simplify. So y plus 2, 3 fourths, and then minus 9 fourths. 3 fourths x minus 9 fourths. And then we'll go ahead and subtract 2 from both sides. So y equals 3 fourths x minus 9 fourths minus 2. Um, LCD is 4, so 4 over 4. Since 2 doesn't have a denominator. So minus 9 fourths minus 8 fourths. So negative 9 and negative 8 would give me negative 17. And we'll just, again, leave it as is. It's fine. You'll notice as we approach calculus, um, we'll start to get uglier and uglier numbers. Um, don't let those freak you out. So this would be the equation of my line. And if you are freaking out, let's graph, right? So let's, what I would do is I would graph both of them. So let's see, we have 3 fourths x uh, minus 17 over 4. And then the, you can actually type the original on Desmos. So if you don't solve for y, it can do it as well. So 4x plus 3y equals 3. You can do that on Desmos. Yeah, those look perpendicular to me. What do we think? And you can even add points. So does it go through the point 3, negative 2? Yeah, perfect. All the conditions are satisfied. So the new line goes through 3, negative 2, not the original line. So Desmos actually can do a lot. So it's a really good way to check your work.
So I hope this is helping us bring back linear. Um, we'll see a couple more examples in the next.